Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Jared Beckwith, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about a day in the life of a remote EEG technologist. So if you guys have been following my journey, I recently got a job doing EEG monitoring remotely. I get to stay home, detect seizures from my bedroom, guys, and I wanted to let you guys in on what do I do in a day now that I'm not at the hospital, now that I'm staying home. This is what I've been getting into, guys. So every day in the morning, we give the patients a call, ask them how their skin is feeling, if they've been on for a while, and also ask them if they had any of their seizure events. Very important to note, guys, because sometimes they forget to press the button on the little box they're carrying around, so it's good to check up with them again over the phone just to make sure they didn't have any of their events because that's really what I'm monitoring them for anyways, right? I'm monitoring to see any seizure events and ensure that the study is running nice and smooth with no equipment issues. So after you make your calls to the patients who are on the night before, making sure they didn't have any of their seizure events, next, throughout the day, you're gonna have to cycle through all the patients one by one. Let's say you have 10 patients to monitor one by one, you gotta cycle through them. Every 90 minutes, you gotta check on every single one of them. So it ends up if you split them out evenly, every like 10 minutes or so, you're gonna have to check on a new patient and kind of gets them into a little, little list and you cycle through them one by one. Not gonna lie, if you're doing a 12 hour shift, it gets a little bit mind numbing by the end of the day and kind of hurts your head, but guys, it took a couple of weeks, but I was able to actually detect a seizure on while doing my job at home monitoring these patients. So it was at the end of the day, it was probably like 7 p.m., 8 p.m. I was getting off at 9. I was going through maybe one of the final checks on one of these patients. And I've been looking at them all day, haven't seen anything. And now at this point, I actually see some, what looks like spike and wave seizure activity. Now, I mean, I'm tired. It's the end of the day, it's 8 p.m. I've been doing this for like 11, 12 hours so far. I'm like, nah, I gotta, I gotta be seeing things. So when I look back and viewed that patient's record, I was able to confirm, yes, this was in fact epileptic seizure activity. And I was able to mark it for the doctor. Also, this was a pretty difficult type of seizure to catch too, because when I called the patient in the morning, hey, did you have any events throughout yesterday or over the night? The patient wasn't able to recall their, their what is called aura. Sometimes the patient will have kind of like a warning that they're having a seizure. Like they might have a weird smell or taste or, yeah, there's a lot of unique types of auras. That's what you call it they kind of like a warning of a patient gets when they're having a seizure. Now they, they were completely unaware that they were having these seizures, but thanks to me monitoring, I was able to tell that this patient was in fact having seizures on the EEG record. Now you don't want to tell them that because unless you're their doctor, since I'm only the EEG technologist, this was just for I guess my knowledge only, and to also relay it to the doctor. But it was pretty interesting that I was able to tell that yes, this patient was having non-convulsive seizures. Like there was no outside shaking or jerking of their limbs. It was just completely all in their head. And the only way we would have known was with this EEG test. And I was able to catch the seizure for the doctor. It was, it, it was reminding me of my times in the hospital. So, even when I was getting bored doing this remote monitoring thing, boom, it got me interested again. At the 11th or 12th hour, I was able to detect a seizure and it's like, oh, this is what I was looking for. See, the, when the game starts to get boring, it always brings me back in, guys, and gives me a gift. I think this was actually a pretty helpful EEG for that patient specifically because the patient didn't know they were seizing, and I don't know if the doctor knew they were seizing this many times either. I'm pretty proud of my work, guys. And so if you're ever like, ah, does my job really matter? If you're in the EEG field, yes, guys, we matter. We're the best. And I mean, without us, 
people's seizures would go untreated and lots of people die from that. So we are very important, guys. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you hit the like button if you like hearing about my day and the life of a remote monitoring EEG technologist. Love you all, and I'll see you all on the next video.